Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crazy here, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on this movie from 1997, and that is Liar Liar. Now the plot of this movie is where you got this guy named Fletcher Reed, played by Jim Carrey, who 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 pretty much has a has a has a really bad habit of of lying into his son, and and so because and he does he doesn't he doesn't get to do much much with him, and so and be, and, and so and so one day and one day his son played by Justin Cooper is and one day it's it's his birthday and so and so and so he and so he wishes that that he would that he wishes that that he would tell the truth just once he would tell the truth just once and then you know and then, and then Fletcher tells the truth very spe specifically like you know he gets everything like out of his head like and tells the truth very well but then you know it, but then he gets embarrassed of himself and then he angers a lot of people and so and so Fletcher Reed has to do whatever he can to to, to stop this whole problem. And so that's pretty much the basic plot of this movie, or that's pretty much the plot of this movie. Now, I, I remember watching this movie like a like a few years ago, and I, and I and I actually liked it. Like you know, because you know this is probably what it's probably. And, and to me, I think this is probably one of Jim Carrey's best movies and one of his funniest movies ever. Because this movie has some funny moments, and you know Jim Carrey's always funny, and Jim Carrey's meant to be funny. I, and I thought Jim Carrey did good in this movie, and I, and also Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly's in this movie. I I thought she did good, and um, Justin Cooper did good as as like the son. Justin Cooper. I thought he he did good. Yeah. And also and also yeah, this is also like a Universal Studios movie and imagine from Universal Studios and Imagine Entertainment. And, and of course, this movie was from 1997. I think. And I think, and I think this this might have been like what, like one one of the, one of like the final Universal Studios movie to movies to use it to use its 1990 to 1997 Universal Studios logo, where the fanfare is composed by the late James Horner. Like you know, and then in 1997, and then they made a new logo where where the fanfare is composed by Jerry Goldsmith. Which which that, that was probably my favorite my favorite Universal Studios logo out of all of them. Other, other than the 2012 logo and the James Horner logo, but yeah, because you know, because I, I first saw I first saw the the 1997 the 2012 Universal Studios logo. I first saw that logo on the How the Grinch Stole Christmas from 2000, and I first saw the James Horner Universal Studios logo. I first saw that on an American Tale Five Will Goes West. But yeah, because you know, I because I, I, I'm a I'm I'm like a huge fan of logos. But anyways, back to liar liar. So yeah, and and I, and 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 for this movie, I I thought I thought the humor in this movie, liar liar, I thought I thought the humor was very funny. I thought the comedy was funny. I thought the comedy was funny. The humor was funny. The writing is good. The acting is very funny and hilarious and good. Yeah, and and if you haven't seen Liar Liar yet, I definitely recommend it. It's worth watching. Yeah. And so overall, Liar Liar is a funny movie, and I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. All right, guys. So that's so that's my review on Liar Liar. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you, if you haven't yet, and make sure to like this video. All right, guys. We're gonna end this video here. So goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.